Right, what we're going to do here is show you how to lay cork in a station. The important thing is, is to make sure you've got your train with the widest carriages and the longest. Because if that will go in, anything will go in. So basically what you need to do is, you need to run it. So if you can alter that point next to the, no, 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 no that one. We're going to run it backwards and forwards. In these areas to make sure it doesn't clip the platform. You can hear it runs so much nicer on cork and bare board. If you can alter the point, we'll see if it's all right on that platform. It's going to be back on the track for some reason. I know why, it's because of the angle of the... Do you want to put a bit of cork under there? Because it's tipping down too much, that's why it's coming off. Just put a little bit, a point bit under there. That's why it's coming... That's it, just stick it under there. Because it's just too much of a dip, it's pulling the carriage off, that's it, that's better. So, bear that in mind when you're doing it. And what we're trying to do is ascertain it can go in here without clipping the platform. Is that okay space wise? Mm, yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw that track down. Try this one again. Try it again. Because this clicks this, it might have moved. Okay. Does that platform look nice and straight along there? Yeah. No problems there, yeah? No. So what you do now is... Move it one more time. You check it. And move back again the other one. And you, and you run it a couple of times just to make sure that you're totally happy. That's the important thing. What do you think? Now what you do... is you pull the train right out of the way, because you don't want to damage it. A lovely model. Turn it off and you mark out the track. So what do you, do you want to mark out that track? Actually it's not quite. Just have a look looking down, it's still not just not quite. That's it. What you do is you mark out in the middle. You mark out in the middle with a pen by where the screw holes are. Always in the middle. To get it dead central. Because the last thing you want to do is lay all the track in the station and half the carriages won't go in. And it's important always to use the widest train and the one with the longest carriages. It's no good putting 1918 trucks in and you wonder why the rest of it doesn't work. Right now you've marked between the track, which you saw. Let's do these bits down here so I can video that. And what you do is just put no nails on the back of the cork and you butt it up. both to the centre line you've made where you followed the track basically it's as simple as that now I would recommend you use Unibond we bought some Spirius no nails and it just didn't have the flexibility it's a disaster total disaster 
You don't need to use tacks to hold it down when it's in a simple straight. And we use gauge master cork and you buy it in the strips. Now we've had a model shop in Hawley, bless them, who've now shut down, I'm not surprised. Told me they don't use cork anymore. And tried to sell me foam, I would not bother with foam. At the various shows, people have said that it's uh, like furniture foam. Eventually it starts to crumble and it just doesn't sound like a real train and there's a lot of movement with it whereas this is absolutely spot on. And you can hear the trains, you've heard them if you've watched my videos, those that have moved over from where it's corked in the old fiddle yard to where it's just on the board and it just sat, they just sound like hair dryers going round. And, uh, but yeah, the cork works the best, in my view. You get the sound, the track looks good, it sounds good. It doesn't sound like an electric train set, but most importantly, the carriages sound like railway carriages going round, and not just an electric train. Because bear in mind, where you've just got bored, even if you've got whatever sound you've got, you've got the sound of the train, and carriages are not quiet. Right, now we've laid the track, we're going to test Paddington to see if it goes in and out of the station. As I say, it's always important, remember, to do a train backwards and forwards. Don't just do it forwards. Because the way the coaches oscillate, going in one direction, change to another. Even tenders on steam locomotives, they oscillate differently on the track. So don't just put something in backwards and think, oh that works, and away you go, because it doesn't work like that. And you can hear, it just runs so much better on court. And can you just alter the other point so I can test the other, plat the other plat side of the platform? Please. And there you go. Absolutely runs superb. And always do it a couple of times just to make sure. You know, like you can have a train sometimes, it'll go around the bend twice, and the next three times it won't. Do you want to alter the point so it can go in that direction? You might think, why am I using such a lovely brake train to test this? Well, the simple, is, it's got, simple reason is it's got the widest and the longest carriages. So I know if this will do it, anything else will. And do you want to just alter the point the other way again, please? And there you go. Obviously the track's got to be ballasted. But you can hear they're already sounding more like a train, even just on cork on its own. And you can see it just runs so smoothly. And even on this car, even on these points, you go a lot faster because the call it's just, it's just you no. Know, we're pleased with that. So now I move Paddington way out the way, other side of the layout where it's already been done. Can you hear where it's in the ballast? It actually sounds like a real train. So I'll just demonstrate again quickly. You don't need to see if you can hear it. That's running on cork on its own, which you can hear, which is better than board because you get a sight clicking. And then here, here is track with cork and ballast, and you can hear it sounds like a real train. Exactly how it would sound. Thank you. What we've done is is we've been messing around with the track and making sure it's level with the platform and we've used Paddington because it's got the widest coaches and it's got the overhangs on the sides which the others don't have so if you move Paddington back that 
and you'll see and if you can move it forward keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop screw there a little bit tight in there See, go back. And put Paddington the other one. And hopefully You can see it, it is pretty damn good. Keep going. It's close enough for real, real realistic for passengers to get on. And I want to take Paddington out. Now what I've been using is, if you could see it, is a small electric screwdriver. Charges up with USB, and I'm just going to show you. Don't use, don't use tacks because if you've got to adjust your track. How can you adjust it with tacks? With the screws you can loosen them, you can move them around and it's not a difficult exercise. I'm not going to bore you with watching me put loads of screws in but it's a simple task. It's got a magnetic head and away you go. Small electric screwdriver. You don't want some huge thing that goes drud, 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 or you're going to smash the tracks. They're, they're zinc screws so there's no rust, there's going to be no corrosion but what I do is I paint them a dark brown colour and you don't notice also if anything gets damaged or you need to pull up the track like I'm going to have to here because there's too much of a gap between the fish plates that I'm not happy with now imagine if I'd hammered down nails if I'd hammered down nails You know, I'd be pulling them up with a claw hanger, and this isn't staged, I've just noticed it now. This isn't staged. I'd be pulling them up with a claw hammer or a screwdriver. Whereas this is nice and simple. Surprised we didn't notice that. You could argue, well, does it really matter when it's that in a station? But we spent a lot of time trying. There you go, you can hear it click as it moved in. And I'll put this back and we'll, we'll run Paddington down it again and see if it's still level. And that's the great thing about the old electric screwdriver. Put it in there. There we go. I think that might be a bit too close to the side, but we'll have a look. All right, do you want to run Paddington in there? Let's have a look. And it's simple things like that. If you've tacked it down, you risk making a mess of the track, etc., etc., etc. flexibility on that. Yeah that's perfect. Take it out again. Other way that take it over the top wherever you do. Now I'm just gonna run it over the other way make sure I haven't pushed pushed it out. Okay put it back the other way. On, keep going. No, that's pretty damn good. That's perfect. Well done. And that's basically it. It's done. I'm just going to put a few more screws in, and we're done.